Hi, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Boku Bell. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm putting the finishing touches on the little workshop that Pippa asked me to build. So when you fill out the blueprint, it disappears from where you've laid it down and uh, pops back in your inventory. Oh, nice. So and you can make as many of those as you want, basically. Yeah, and you can see that you're getting a score for what you've built. And so the game keeps track of what you've built and how many points it's worth. And then that sort of levels up your town, levels up your villagers' weapons that they oh. use to defend themselves. Um, that's actually the leveling mechanism, is how good your town is. I can appreciate that. I mean, given that it's a building game, it makes a lot of sense. Wow, look at that. Hooray, you built the workroom I asked for. Thanks, Grapple. It's just like the one in my picture. Hooray. Oft will the inhabitants of your town sneak in to assist your efforts. Oops, not sneak in, but sneak to assist your efforts by presenting you with the blueprint. I think the first one would be funnier. You walk yeah. in there and the chest just has a door in it and you've got no idea what happened. Uh, they actually do that. That do you that. are 100% correct. Oh. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some material can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wild, thus freeing them from the grass. Is maraud a word? It actually is, yes. <laughs> To maraud, marauding, marauder. I just like the fact that you're freeing the items from their grasp, not slaying monsters. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's... Give me your goop that you stole. <laughs> that's just my goop. <laughs> the goop I'm a slime. my body, that's my blood. I'm a slime, I'm made of goop. I'm going to use my new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. So, oh. <laughs> slimes must be flammable. They are, I, apparently. I was just thinking about that, because you made torches out of slimes and sticks. Blue slime. Yeah. Um, it, I think other slimes have other effects. Uh, right. Good thing you're not a hero. You just set it on fire. I'll put it all in the <laughs> chest and at the end of the day so uh, you can take a look at the amazing things I made. It's just macaroni art. It's just piles and piles of <laughs> macaroni art. Well, at least you'll be well fed. Oh, she gave me some of her gross clothes. Thanks, Pippa. Thanks again for the workroom grapple. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious-looking man lurking around nearby. <laughs> Let's invite so him to our to town? He looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But then I met you and my tolerance has changed. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. Or at least we'd know where he is. <laughs> he was true. on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Grapple, and get him to join us. And if worse comes to worse, you could build a bedroom for him and then take away the door. <laughs> we can trap him like in the sin. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you in finding that which you seek. Yeah. <laughs> Press plus button to take stock of your surroundings and search for the fellow of whom young Pippa spoke. That was a hard sentence to render. I'm just picturing Pippa, like, poking her eye or something like that in order to press the button. <laughs> oh, like, right. Boop. <laughs> Follow your compass. Follow your nose. Okay, Pippa, I will do this. I love you. You know this. It's bedtime. The first time I played this, I tried to go out there at night. And as you can see, it's getting darker. And you can see on our, our compass up there. You're uh, in the twilight zone. Right. And at night... Uh, oh man, Rod Serling's gonna show up. Horrible things Wreck happen. all our stuff. So I'm gonna go to bed before it has time. Those horrible things have a chance to spawn. I love this game because it's about optimism and burying your head in the sand from bad things, which. <laughs> Whenever bad things happen, take a nap. <laughs> that was the. That's important survival advice. <laughs> Defensive napping is one of the most important traits we have as a human. Okay, it's a beautiful morning. I got some kind of squishy berries to eat. I'm gonna you eat a, one of those. You've got a chest to hold all your extra items in. Oh, so I do. I should actually. Around. Yeah, I should. And drop off away. a cloth and random bits and bobs. Um, I'll put the milk blossom blossom bud. Milk blossom bud. Not an easy That good one. bud. That good bud. That dank bud. Those dank mushrooms. I'm gonna keep my torch though. Put you away. Keep that. Put you away, put you away. Your mobile workbench that you carry around. It's just a big tree stump. Okay. 
and let's see, how do I go through my inventory again? The button that I always hit. X. It's important to also stock up on weapons. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go to my equipment. I'm gonna equip this. Actually, I'm gonna equip, equip this till it dies. Um, um, which I will be able to rotate through, if I remember how. Yeah, up and down. And, and then... Down. Okay, auto-sorted my items. The, and now I'm going to go... The hot menuing action. Hot menu action. It's what you sign up for when you watch the show. Oh, I'm going to head over to find that weird guy that Pippa had mentioned. Um, well, if you insist. So you can place it under, like, the neighborhood watch or something like that? <laughs> right. I mean, every town needs a guard dog, right? You'll find a lot of these little places of destroyed land and skeletons. There's some some bones there. And a lot of them do have signs. Uh, there's an old worn signpost here with the words, My Pledge, emblazoned on the top. There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? Okay. I like lore. Uh, how many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness? Monsters roam the land unchecked, and even my dear home, the city of Cantlin, has half finally fallen. Twas but... A matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture, even now fewer and fewer of our people are literate. For so but I'm writing long, this sign anyway. <laughs> for so long did we take that most dear and most precious power for granted, that without it we are undone. But if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, at least I can record it. To this end, I resolve to travel the land of Alfgard and take note of what has befallen mankind. Uh, may this notice stand testament to my vow. I... God, buddy. I intend to collate the records of my journey into a book which I shall title A Passage to Tantagel. Oh, so this is his Nanny Rymo. So I can only imagine that this sign has, like, smaller wooden signs I hanging <laughs> under it. I invite all those who read this pledge to follow my footsteps and seek out my story. Okay. May the goddess watch over thee you and all thine adventure. Okay, I'm gonna designate... And one more thing! One more thing! Sir Reginald, Sir Reginald Augustus Grain's Candlin Brigade of Guards. Okay, cool. Well, so you doesn't need to be the, the reader voices, for the sure we can take Yeah, you know what? You guys take them on. One of you feel free to be God. One of you feel free to be Sign. Uh, actually, Gene, you're gonna like this guy that we're coming up on. Gasp! A crate. And a fire. Mine. How long has that fire been been burning? Since nobody can build one. Uh. Okay, so it's updating the Thanks, quest you just market. got rid of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, or some other, like, <laughs> monument. It's a bonfire. It was built by mine ancestors. Well, your half-ancestors whoops can <laughs> eat a dick. I am... Uh, can eat a, eat a dick. Eat a dick. Okay, look at these little... So, I again, I'm not familiar with the Dragon Quest uh, franchise. Like, I, I sort of I... know of it tangentially. I love their slimes, though. Slimes have captured my heart. I went into deep corners of the eat. Don't do it. <laughs> what Maybe. happens if they go in the water? They die. Up. I was going to say, I'm guessing that it's like what happens in uh, Minecraft. They don't like water. Yeah, if I go in the water, I die too, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have the power to creep, but not to swim. Oh, but I love these. I love these little slimes. I, I got really into angel slimes in particular, trying to find like a keychain charm of them. Okay, mm. we got a little house. Ooh, that would be a good product. Somebody should. Uh, somebody on the internet should make that. Somebody, yeah. Yeah, somebody should. Well, there's this whole trend with these, like, little slimes made out of silicone that are really cute. Mm. Um, I'll read up more on those before our next episode so I can point them out in case anybody cares. Okay. These ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering the Candlin Chronicle might take much longer than originally thought. <laughs> thought. The handwriting is so bad that Grandpa cannot summon up the will to read any more. I. This is such a true feeling. <laughs> I just like that. It's like I'll do the signs. I can do the signs. I can't do and the then, signs. Oh. oh, it's just, it's just. I didn't know that signs could have an accent that thick. Um. So, uh, be this is almost a complete room, and now it is. Nice. So if we ever have to bail and 
and go sleep somewhere, you have we a panic have room. A, right, we have a panic room. Okay, and then there's these adorable bats. Um, the bats are just about the cutest thing in the world. Slimes are also pretty good, but they drop brass, which is very well 420 joke, but also very <laughs> useful. Um, if I touch the monsters, I guess I didn't that time. If I touch the monsters, I do take damage. Yeah. Which I'm really bad about doing. I kind of run into them. Oh, you do, huh? Don't watch yeah. me play Legend of Zelda. I take more <laughs> damage running into things than anything else. Alright. Anybody there? There. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Is somebody there? I've trapped myself. They've buried me oh. alive. They've completely covered me in dirt and I can't get out. Oh man. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Where would you put yourself on a hotness scale? Would you say you're like a seven? Cause I'll, I'll get you out if you're like a seven. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what, I'll get you out if you're a five. There's not a lot of people here. Hurry, my child. Hold L or R to aim your attacks above or below you. Guide your boat blows carefully and free this man from his earthen tomb. I'm gonna wing it, though. <laughs> I'm comfy winging it. Oh. <laughs> All right. I feel like that was. I feel like that was God. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna wing it. When you're free, <laughs> when you're freeing them, you have to completely free them. Oh really? Yeah. Well, he uh, can't move. There's a block on top of his head. <laughs> all right. All right. Power move. Wait. Power move. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Woo! we're so close together yet again. <laughs> Fusion dance. Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I appreciate you enunciated every haha. -ha. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny-looking face. Hey, dumb fuck covered <laughs> I feel in like, dirt. I feel like you're gonna put the dirt back on him now. <laughs> I like that I raised the club. <laughs> what? You say you're building a town a town near here? By my bushy beard, oh, that is wonderful face. news. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Let me help. Let me join your city and help to rebuild it. When can I step back in this conversation? He's a close talker. Hmm? What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. I might have. I'm so close to your beard. <laughs> well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. <laughs> I like this guy. He's a, he's a friend. <laughs> I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most venerable of books, the Cantilin Chronicle. Oh, I couldn't even read the, like, about page of that one. <laughs> I assure you Too that long didn't read. And I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way. Well, if he's less verbose than the book, he might be now, useful. He can give you the Cliff's Notes version. Now, shift. guys, I am curious. Does he ever give me a... Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh. Are you reburying him? I I just I'm a little curious if I can. Do you Wait. think this is why the monster is burying him? <laughs> He's oh, just he talking can, super he can jump. He's too powerful to be contained. All right, buddy. <laughs> Oh, and it's getting kind of close to evening, so I should head... Oh, God, it's oh. a Harpy. Oh, Rolo just took a hit. Well... The fire. So that was a Harpy? Yeah, that was a Harpy. Um, If you get enough of their feathers, you can make a Chimera Wing, which uh, flies you back to your town. Um, straight back down is pretty great. I just want to say that they look like... Uh, they look like that buzzard from the old like Looney Tunes cartoons. Yeah, they kind of do. They have that same like dopey expression. All right. Oh, you're gonna make the run for it. You're not gonna stop in your. Uh... No, we're we're pretty close to home. Um, there's, to my knowledge, no way to run faster. Mm. Um, NPCs AI is pretty good when it comes to following you. It's not perfect, but it's in general it's pretty good. That's good. 
Um, oh, but this is shallow enough. The little flea can look, look at, at that him, little guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, I love you, little flammable ball of goo. <laughs> little bats, I love you too. Wish just you... don't eat me. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. Uh, and then when you're taking a new hippo, doing up there. Oh, you know, just wandering around. Patrolling the ruins. So every time you get a new villager, they'll go to your uh, your little town flag, and mm -hmm. everybody in town will come and clap that they've arrived. That's nice. Hey, you're lying. By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming lift, lift, with life. We got two there people. Three people here now. <laughs> Why, I do believe that the Cantlin Chronicle describes this very place. It is the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Oh ho, my mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient uh, knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. Defensive napping, help me. <laughs> it is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and are construction. Are you sure it's just not Harry Potter? Because that is a good-ass book. <laughs> Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Grapple. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna do all the work, but okay. <laughs> uh... Yay! You found someone to join our town! What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. Thanks for bringing him here, then. <laughs> when I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. Oh, could you have led with the book part of that <laughs> sentence? <laughs> Jesus, Pippa. But, but he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? Oh, oh no. <laughs> and he must be really clever, too. I mean, he's got such a big, bushy beard, after all. I like Pippa, that that I'm sorry, so but I got a beard. That's not how that works. <laughs> Their brains are so big, it pushes the hair out of the bottom of their face. <laughs> it's but, to keep all them brains warm. Oh, it keeps their brains warm. But anyway, now that we found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alfgard. To be fair, you needed an extra person so that you could, like, move a couch and, and to do be, that kind of stuff. To be fair, I think we're the only city on Earth with a complete room, so we are technically the best city already. That's true. Oh, yeah. You're only going to move I'm up from here. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, it is a uh, it is bedtime for characters, and I think a good place to pause until next episode. Thanks so, for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, again, sorry about Grapple the name. It was. Nah, Grapple's adorable. Don't trust people with beards. Don't trust people with beards. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, like and subscribe. Bye. I make no bed for you. Come, Pippa.